Ascendant Masters, Master Jesus, Master Buddha, Master Katumi, Yamonja, Oshun, Mawu, and all the Taurus, please connect us to the Archangels, Spirit God, Spirit Animals, our lineage, and offer the highest vibrational good only, rooting us down in our individual healing experience and bringing us forth as a community. I say all of this in the name of I am Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. a sense of vulnerability and trust and you have to be able to trust 
instruments being used um, to be able to impact uh, someone else's uh, energetic um, uh, systems. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, homeopathy uh, is an example in which you're taking, um, they're called remedies, but you're taking these little pellets that are interacting with your energy system. So in that way, you don't have a hands-on practitioner. You're having um, an inanimate object that's interacting and flowing with um, these invisible uh, systems that live within, a, within us that have been documented. So within this, it is very important that the energy itself feels comfortable, feels aligned for the life that you want. So you have to learn how to let go. Now, we all have to do a little bit of work. There's nothing, 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 nothing wrong with that. We all have to do a little bit of work. And that work really is just trusting yourself that you will show up for yourself in the best way possible. That's all you got to do. Okay. Breathing in and out. And as you exhale, let it go. Let anything that has been holding you back or trying to hold on to you or what I like to call irrational things because since we are, we've just come out of a Mercury and retrograde in Aquarius, what came up a lot for you is a lot of things that have to do with your social circles, your friendships, and where you play as a person on a team. I'm not lying. You're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> How does she know? The planets know, okay? There's nothing new under the sun. I tell you that all the time. Um, but there was a lot of things to restructure about where you stand in teams, who your friends are, and how you live in friendships, and, you know, things like that. And our community, our sense of community, which is the most important part of this experience here, is something that can make someone feel like, even if they don't know anything, like, I can do it. And also, it can make someone who knows a lot feel like, what am I doing? Community is important and community is key, so this is a moment to make sure that you have, it's lack of a better word, your tribe, but I, I feel like, let me use a better word, let's just say community. Make sure that you have your people, you know, make sure that 
is realign the energy. So these are for the psychosomatic things. Now when you're dealing with physical ailments, physical sickness, then energy healing um, lineages become an, a uh, complement uh, to whatever other type of medical system that you want to use. Uh, the reason why I say it's a complement is because in energy you are working with energy. But if you are so progressed in some type of illness that it is physical, then you need to work with physical medicine. I think I think a lot of people get lost in this um, and, and feel like it has to be one or the other. Feels like it has to be one or the other when it's not that at all. It is all involved. We need to get you as many resources as possible for you to be able to have access to what you need. So, jumping back into the example that I was using where things are like so d -d 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 tiny, basically, to change someone's energetic flow when they are not feeling well is similar to changing their energetic flow when they want this dream job. Why? Because there is a false sense of reality going on, and this false sense of reality is working with your current energetic system, and as you in a routine or pattern to do things a certain way, you just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. But instead, what you need to do is change that energetic flow. Now, what's going to happen when you change that energetic flow to open you up and bring more in your life? It's going to get... Um, let me not even say it like this. However you respond to change is exactly how it's going to feel. So if you're the type of person who embraces change, it's going to be exciting. If you're the type of person who fears change, it's going to be a dissonant and uncomfortable. But that's the most important part to know. The reason that you're being blocked from getting what you want is because you're too afraid to accept a bigger life than what you have. The reason why you're being blocked from getting what you want is you're too afraid to accept a bigger life that you could have and the responsibilities that you need to have. You know, uh, 
upset by your spiritual freedom and want to kind of push you down into this is right and this is wrong, let them do whatever they need to do. Let them live their life and let yourself live your life. But also know that if you're going to be able to let this stuff go and embrace something bigger, embrace a bigger life, you should have some type of connection. And I'm not telling you what the connection is. The connection could be, I just believe in humanity. I believe in the energy flowing around. I believe in a set, you know, wisdom tradition, but you need something there because without it, you will burn out. There are many, many energy healing practitioners who burn out because they do not have that connection. They're using their own life force energy instead of being able to connect with something bigger. Again, I know this is more of stuff that we talk about on um, Patreon where we really go into these things, but it is important for you to know as well as you are releasing and letting go in this moment. So now that we're bringing in, we're manifesting, feel yourself being clear, feel yourself being relieved of the pressure that you had before and feel yourself warming up and opening yourself up to be able to have this big life and accept change without fear, to know that if you have to walk off a mountain that you're going to just know it. You don't know how to fly. You're going to fly. But I never knew how to fly. It's going to happen. <laughs> and to take baby steps. I don't know why people don't like to take baby steps. It's wonderful. It makes you feel like you're doing something when you have something really big going on. So take, take, take baby steps. Now, I want you to think of something that you want, whatever that is. Whatever that thing is that you want, I want you to think about it. And in your palms, I want your palms to start to feel a little bit warm. And that is a gesture of taking in and letting go for everything that you take into your palms to be able to fuel this dream or this goal. You are then also letting go of something that is limiting and holding you back. That it, you just can't overfill yourself and you cannot also um, let go of everything without bringing things back in as well. You want to be in balance with yourself. So as you're inhaling and exhaling, you're bringing in and you're letting go. So think of it as like the, the rain and the nutrients and the minerals to be able to feed the seed that you planted in yourself to be able to grow and to expand. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now, I want you to start thinking What's coming up as you are letting this new thing just open yourself up and bring you into a space of power? What are you noticing? What is expanding? What is within you? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you notice? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you notice? What do you notice? Oh. 
grateful. Thank you for sharing your hearts and your space and your homes and your relaxation. I am always channeling for your greatest good and I cannot wait to see your purpose in the physical. I'm, I'm going to keep an eye out for it, okay? Please like, comment, subscribe. That's how our videos get around. Share it as well with other community members that you feel like will really benefit from these videos and but 
infuse candles, you can infuse herbs, you can infuse the elements that go into skincare like oils and liquids and stuff like that. You can infuse any of those things. Okay. Beautiful. And last but certainly not least would be the soap. And so what I would do if we were in person, this would be a moment in which I would
yourself by 